Welcome ladies and gents. Yes, that's right, I'm just in a hoodie. We'll just hang a lantern on that straight away. But Will Smith, he's not just in a hoodie, he's out the door. He's resigned from the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts. Uh, this is of course the Oscars, this is... I guess this is him quitting before he's fired. I guess, Does that make any sense? Basically, he's, he's quit before he's ousted. Um, which is his way of leaving with some dignity, I guess. Uh, it's actually, you, you could consider it to be a bit of a, a wuss's way out, as it were. You know, a bit of a, bit of a cowardice way out. Rather than taking your punishment, you've taken it on your own accord, and uh, and that's the end result. You see, but let, let's let's take a look because there's more to this than just meets the eye. A lot of people thought this was an April first joke. Uh, it's not. Uh, a lot of people thought my uh, Jim Carrey retiring video was an April 1st joke as well. I don't do them. Uh, I don't do that stuff on the channel. Uh, I've never done it. I don't think I ever will. Maybe I will one year, but I don't do them, generally speaking. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Heartbroken Will Smith resigns from the Academy ahead of decision on his future after the Oscar slap of Chris Rock. The slap heard around the world! Um... Yeah, I mean, it seems like an April 1st joke. It's not. Updated with the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts statement, two days after the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts and Sciences Board of Governors initiated a self-described disciplinary proceedings against Will Smith over his slap of Chris Rock at Sunday's Oscars, the heartbroken King Richard uh, actor who won you know, Best Actor Award today has preempted the harshest punishment that he could have received and left the organization voluntarily. Now, actually, he's joined one of six people, I think, now. There's only been five people that have been ousted from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences um, that have, you know, officially been removed. Uh, he's removed himself, which I guess, because he's preempting himself being uh, ousted, I guess you could say he's joined uh, very, very small ranks of individuals. Sources said Smith was told by the Academy that he likely could be expelled for a decade or more. And that possibility prompted Smith, who has been an AMPS member since 2001, to jump today before he was pushed in hopes of diffusing the situation. Uh, I mean, maybe that's him thinking that ultimately, you know, if, if, he, if he resigns himself, he can come back sooner? I guess? I don't know. Um, but the individuals, funnily enough, the individuals that have gone... Uh, you know, we've got the likes of Harvey Weinstein, Roman Polanski. You know, not nice people that have been removed from the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts. So Will Smith is now uh, joining the likes of uh, Roman Polanski and Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, all this because he was uh, a cuck with his wife. Fantastic. I have directly responded to the Academy's disciplinary hearing and I will fully accept any and all consequences for my conduct. This is his statement. My actions at the, at the 94th Academy Awards presentation were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. And yet he said this before, and then he tried to excuse them by saying, well, this is why I did it. No, it's inexcusable. Don't give yourself a reason. The list of those I have hurt is long. It includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance and global audiences at home. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I mean, yeah, so Samuel L. Jackson won an Oscar. Samuel L. Jackson won an Oscar and no one knows about it. <laughs> no one knows about it because everyone's talking about Will Smith. I am heartbroken. I want to put the focus back on those who deserve attention for their achievements and allow the Academy to get back to the incredible work it does to support creativity and artistry in film. So, I am resigning from membership in the Academy of Motion Picture of Arts and Sciences and will accept any further consequences the board deems appropriate. Change takes time and I am committed to doing the work to ensure that I never again allow violence to overtake reason. I mean, it's all just platitudes and nonsense, really. But, hey, look, if he's, you know, I don't want to be one of these individuals that says no one can be sorry, right? Like, that's, you know, that's an attitude held by other individuals, um, you know, on certain spectrums. Apologies, you know, need to be thorough, thought through. You need to be accepting of apologies to allow people to redeem themselves. So, look, if he's genuinely sorry, kudos to him, man. Genuinely kudos to him. 
it's very clearly a man that had a bit of a breakdown. He's He has no respect in his household from anyone. His son dresses as a woman and dates guys. And, like, his daughter, I think, wanted to, like, be removed from the family, as did his son. His wife bones other men, told uh, him to his face live on television, red table discussion, Google it, that Will Smith doesn't please her in bed. That's why she bangs other people, notably one of her son's friends. This is a man on the edge, right? And it doesn't excuse the actions, but it goes some way to explain the actions. And so if he is sorry, kudos to him. Kudos to him. So anyway, on March 30th, after a sometime uh, contentious virtual meeting of the more than 50 governors, including the likes of Steven Spielberg, Ava DuVernay and Rita Wilson, Smith was informed that he had 15 days to respond in writing to their assertion that he violated the Academy's standards of conduct and his violent behaviour, or with his violent behaviour, sorry, on March 27th. The group were, then was scheduled to meet April 18th to decide Smith's fate. While well, expulsion was on the table under the Oscar organisers' rules, taking away Smith's Oscar never was, which I think is a bit of a shame because, you know, it, he's not the best... Re but maybe, maybe he was the best actor of that year. They didn't really showcase a lot of films, in fairness. Um, but I, I don't think, you know, people deserve to be rewarded, um, you know, even... like I mean, obviously, the reward is for different things. So I guess I can kind of accept it. But, you know, the Oscar at that point derailing the show and things like that should it have been taken away i think it should have been on the table at the very least anyway also sources close to the events tell us that the traditional invite of the previous year's best actor winner to hand out the best actress award had become a non-starter for smith for the 95th academy awards yeah no shit now all that looks to be anticlimactic we have received and accepted Mr. Will Smith's immediate resignation from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Uh, this is from David Rubin, the president of the Academy. We will continue to move forward with our disciplinary proceedings against Smith for violations of the Academy's standards of conduct in advance of our next scheduled board meeting on April 18th. So that's interesting. I think, like I said, I think he was doing this to supersede that and essentially find a way to get him, you know, quicker. Basically say, hey, look, I'm resigning. Go easy on me. You know, I'm resigning. Please let me come back soon. Um, so I guess that's my un that's my understanding of it. That's how it appears to be anyway. So I think it's interesting now that they're still going ahead. And I think good for them as well. Of course they should. Otherwise, they're a mockery. I mean, they're a mockery anyway. They're the most ridiculous thing ever. The Oscars are a joke. The Oscars are an absolute joke. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. My uh, pancakes are repeating on me. Anyway, Smith's exit from the AMPAS also comes as further controversies. Look, if you've got a problem with me, with pancakes repeating on me, I do apologise, alright? I've had American pancakes with bacon and maple syrup for breakfast. I'm soz. Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, deal with it. Anyway, even if Smith was uh, really asked to exit the Dolby Theatre on March 27th after striking and screaming at Rock, because uh, he's cracked a joke, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it, look... <laughs> Cool, fine, good, I guess. All been done. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, there's not much else to say on this. You know, facing a growing backlash, Smith finally said sorry. I mean, this should have been done before anyway. The whole thing's an absolute joke. It's been a shit show for some time. Um, this is not a, a huge surprise. Now, they say additionally, aggravating some Academy board members was the news that Smith had a virtual meeting with AMPS heads Reuben and Dawn Hudson on March 29th, ahead of the Governor's March 30th meeting. Those in that Wednesday meeting weren't in the know that a discussion between the three occurred. A state of affairs that infuriated some and left some others exasperated with what they saw as the lack of transparency and even basic competence on the part of Reuben and Hudson. Basically saying, even the President of the Academy is a douche canoe. Um, which is interesting. I mean, it looks like they're trying to supersede some of those, you know, discussions and meetings. It's fascinating stuff. Now, it's not just that. We also have SAG-AFTRA. Um, they have a uh, constitution spelling out steps to be taken if union disciplines Will Smith for Oscar slap. So that he, he could be absolutely... I mean, he could be slapped around now. <laughs> Funny. If Will Smith is to be disciplined by SAG-AFTRA, for slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars, the union's constitution spells out in great detail the disciplinary process will play out. SAG-AFTRA covers performance, uh, performance sorry, at the Academy Awards, where Rock was a presenter Sunday night and as such deems it a workplace incident subject to disciplinary review. Basically, he's being boned. Earlier today, uh, Smith resigned his membership in the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences after his board of governors, blah, blah, blah. Basically, 
that happened there. We know that anyway. But what's happening with SAG-AFTRA, okay? So on Monday, SAG-AFTRA said in a statement, as the union representing presenters and other performers working on the Oscars, SAG-AFTRA is focused on ensuring our members always work in a safe environment. True. Violence or physical abuse in the workplace is never appropriate and the union condemns any such conduct. The incident involving Will Smith and Chris Rock at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable. Of course it was. We've been in contact with the Academy and... Uh, and ABC about this incident and will work to ensure this behaviour is appropriately addressed. The union's statement concluded by noting SAG-AFTRA does not comment on any pending member disciplinary processes, suggesting that the incident is actually being reviewed for disciplinary process. And guess what the penalty is? Expulsion! Could happen. I mean, it is the most serious penalty, of course, um, but it is possible. But other options include suspension, fines, reprimands uh, and censor. The union has a standing delegation to both its uh, probable cause committee to determine whether there's a probable cause that the union's constitution has been violated and to its disciplinary committee, but only a disciplinary committee decision to expel a member will automatically go to the national board, whose next regular meeting is April 30th. Actually, that's my, that's my birthday. Uh, but it's interesting. He could, get, he could just get absolutely boned left, right and centre. I mean, he's just, he's just ruined his career now. What an idiot. All that for someone that's cucked him like an absolute loser. Jesus. <sighs> very, very funny. Very, very, very funny. And interesting, interestingly, the last time SAG AFTRA publicly took steps to discipline a member came in early January when the union's national board met in special session to consider Donald Trump. Right? Because he's a long-time member because of The Apprentice. And this was reported by Deadline. The board found probable cause that Trump had violated the union's constitution because the charges were cited that Trump's role in citing the attack on the US Capitol. Right, okay. Oh my God. Uh, and then Trump would resign, of course, because, you know, why would you just sit around for that? So there you go, ladies and gents. Will Smith joining the likes of Roman Polanski, Harvey Weinstein... Maybe even Donald Trump. What do you think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Have a great Saturday. Take care.